So Oscar De La Hoya talked about his cross dress and what he did, those pictures that came out. And uh, I think he did them on Club Shay Shay and he was talking about it. And he talked about it, said what the events took place with some women and how some things went down. Did it really hurt his career? No. You know, the thing about De La Hoya, he was the golden boy. He had crossed over. Pun intended. Take it how you want. I don't know. I, I don't really know what his orientation. I don't really look at it one way or the other with anything because I don't know. It didn't hurt him. He's been a successful promoter and he's been able to go on with his life. Um, What people do in the private state home is their business. I don't know. I have no idea. Did it work against Marv Albert? No. So, I mean, I just say this because people do what they do. It doesn't mean anything as long as you know whatever you are, whatever you partake in. So, you know, he just addressed it because he said he had been uh, involved in some situations and a couple of women and they had kind of put this situation there and he did it. And I remember when the pictures came out and a couple of cats, his eyebrows raised. But did it really hurt his stock market? No, he wouldn't be a boxing promoter. Let that sink in. That's one of the most uh, so-called machismo masculine things that you can do is be a boxing promoter. So did people stop association with him because of the photos or anything? No, no, no. I don't know anything to say about one way or the other with him because um, people do whatever they do. And it's just a situation where... Um, his situation, you remember him as a fighter. And you've heard about some other things that are said about him that happened outside the ring. But no one knows one way or the other. You know, stories come and go. You know, I know he's a corporate product pitchman who had incredible crossover appeal. I know that. I've seen a handful of boxes in my life that had that kind of crossover appeal as him. And they were Sugar Ray Leonard, Mike Tyson, Ali, of course. Yeah, it's a short list of guys that when I say corporate appeal, I'm talking about they were loved in the ring and they were like corporate, like they were money was put on them. So um, no one really, really got to the asking him about it, you know. So he admitted to that being pictures that were thrown out there and you know he said what he said about it you know no one knows how it is with him you know whatever he was doing so I can't say I know that he was a great fighter but I did have a couple fights that were questionable I know when he lost to Floyd but there were a couple fights before that I still remember I think the Sweet Pete Whitaker fight but I know that he was the golden boy and they loved him you know but I don't know about anything else. You know, again, unless he confirms or says what he does beyond anything, it's just that. Because, you know, I don't know about how people, you know. And I'm going to tell it like this. Clothing, though, there's things that don't necessarily would, would rock in my world like that. Clothing doesn't make you one way or the other. You make yourself one way or the other with what you do. Clothing isn't going to make a break, you know, that. So I don't use that as a criteria to know because I don't know with him. But he felt it the time to speak on it. So that's something that, you know, whatever he is, more power to him, you know. So, but the main thing is that I guess he's alive and he's got his mind together because he went through some tough times, so. But he just addressed in that episode in his life. Pretty wild night. And some of them do have some strange things that go on. So that's all I can say about it. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the video if you like. 
please hit that membership because when you do, I will get the request back to you. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay clear, stay cool, stay healthy. I'm back. Peace.